This is a computer mouse, literally. And it's my attempt at building a brand new kind of portable computer that can do anything and everything you'd want to be able to do on a normal computer. And the whole reason I made this is because four years ago, I made this. This is the ultimate computer mouse, but it sucks. So this was my first attempt at creating the future of computers. It's an all-in-one mouse that can do basic things like Google searches, using a notepad, sliding into your mom's DMs. So now at this point, you're probably thinking, wow, this thing seems pretty cool and practical. <laughs> well, you're wrong. The screen's tiny. The battery dies after like one minute. The only video game it can play is the imbecile version of Minecraft. And plus, look at this thing. What is this? I think it's about time I make a new and improved version two. And little did this absolute dimwit realize at the time that it would take him three painful attempts to actually create the perfect computer. So after many, many hours of working and stressing my brain, playing online chess, I decided I was ready to start building this thing. Okay, so this new one needs to have a bigger screen, needs to be able to play high quality video games, and it needs a keyboard that doesn't just fall off. To get all this, I'm gonna use a $1,200 computer, a five inch screen, and a projected keyboard. So how do a five inch screen and a gaming PC fit in a four inch mouse? Well, it turns out four inches is a lot bigger than you think. After 3D printing it all, I spent five hours sanding it down until somebody told me it would actually be faster to use something called a power sander. So I went to the hardware store and bought one of these things. Now this is the part of every project where I create the completely pointless feature that adds hundreds of hours of extra work. Is it worth it? <laughs> Definitely. 13 and a half migraines later, I finished designing the feature, 3D printed it, put the pieces together, painted it, did all the electronics and the wiring, and I don't know how this happened, but it actually worked perfectly first try. After a week of troubleshooting, everything was going smoothly. I installed the scroll wheel, the main buttons, inhaled some soldering iron fumes, and then I put the computer mouse sensor in. After that, I tested it and it was working perfectly. But that's when I remembered something very important. I'm actually an idiot. So it turns out I put the sensor in sideways. So now if I move the mouse up and down, the cursor goes left and right. And left and right makes the cursor go up and down. After I got that fixed up, I installed the PC and a battery. But little did I know, I would really regret that decision later. Now I can start setting up the PC and the mouse using the second monitor. First thing to do, get rid of this boring automatic browser. What is this? And install a straight up free gaming browser. Thank you to Opera GX for sponsoring this video. So you remember that sketchy battery that I installed? So while I was setting up the PC and customizing my Opera GX theme with things like animated background and light and dark mode, everything was working perfectly when the PC died. Um, and I kind of have a feeling that what killed it was the battery. Regardless, I can now flex on you guys by easily fixing the computer with my natural genius and skill. I don't know what the heck I'm doing. So it's been multiple hours since I started working on this thing and I finally figured out the solution. I need to get a new one. I installed the new PC, replaced the battery with a power cord, and screwed the top on to finally finish the build. This is the ultimate thick mouse. And you know what they say about a guy with a big mouse? He's got a giant mouse pad. Of course. All right, let's turn this thing on and hope it doesn't explode. Anyway, let's get Minecraft. Um, guys, I think I just noticed the first problem. Where's my keyboard? I think it's the way the lights are shining or something, but from up here, I can't see the keyboard at all. I have to go at this weird angle just to see the keys. <laughs> Whose dumb idea was a laser keyboard? The heck? So this is my brother Joe, and he's an absolute nerd. He runs a gaming YouTube channel with a million subscribers. So who better to see how well this thing can handle video games than him? <clears throat> Isn't this supposed to be a keyboard? <laughs> oh, it is a keyboard. It's just a black mouse pad, so I can't see it. <laughs> this is trash. How am I supposed to move? Where is the W key? This thing sounds like it's about to take off. This doesn't work. Why did it open my inventory? You gotta press W, Joe. I'm trying. Okay, Joe, I kind of feel bad for you because this is so hard. <laughs> so I'm gonna this. help you out with uh, gamer headphones. Oh, 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 it was there for a second. Oh, no, 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 I was there for a second. What would you rate your experience, Joe? Zero out of 10. The laser keyboard's pretty good though, <laughs> except I can't see it. <laughs> also, I can feel it's it melting. <laughs> it's so hot. So this thing is kind of trash, and the keyboard, once again, is terrible. I'm gonna build this thing again, and since the keyboard's been a huge issue with all of them, instead of starting with a mouse, I'm gonna start with a keyboard and work my way out. Whoa, what, what? After taking apart the keyboard, I measured out the spacing, recreated it in my 3D software, and 3D printed it out to test the spacing. And now, I need some computer mouse parts, a battery. Actually, considering what happened last time, let's scratch the battery. So I still wasn't satisfied with the screen size last time, so let's use something a bit bigger. A projector. Now I need the projector to be pointed up more because when it's flat, the image is too low. So to fix it, it's as easy as bending up the projector's lens. Time to test it. Think they'll let me return it? After I fixed that, I designed the housing, printed all the parts out, and finally, I put everything together. The ultimate keyboard mouse. This thing is flat out incredible. Get it? Because it's flat. <laughs> Just like your booty. <laughs> I'm kind of curious to see what some of my best friends think of this thing. Wow, that, this thing kind of sucks. Yeah, why does it look like that? Uh, how am I supposed to play Minecraft on this? So Joe thought this thing was terrible. So to prove him wrong, we agreed to duke it out. 
in Minecraft, of course. I'm gonna need a little bit of training first if I really wanna beat Joe. So this has a pretty simple design. Power cord plugs in here, the mouse buttons and wheel are here, and this is where the projector is. It also features a mini Windows computer, and honestly, at this point, I'm not even 100% sure it can run Minecraft. Turn it on with this switch right here. Bro, this is so sick. So you move the entire thing and the screen moves with the mouse, just like all the other ones. And because it uses a projector, the screen can be however big you want it to be, or however small you want it to be. Let's go watch my favorite YouTuber. This video kind of sucks. So somehow I was actually able to download Minecraft onto this thing. I don't know how well it's gonna run. Come on, come on. Oh, let's go. We're in, baby. I can't believe it's actually working. Uh, what's with the lag though? All right, come here, sheep. Come here, dude. You're trying to die today, huh? You're trying to die? Yeah, you're trying to die. This is boring, guys. Single player is boring. I'm ready to fight some people. You want a piece of this? You want a piece of this, dude? You want a piece of this? Come on, come on, come on. Bro. If you remember, the thick mouse had a huge overheating problem. So how did I fix that this time? Oh, man. Uh, I didn't. I completely forgot about it, actually. Oh, this is starting to get hot. Okay, this is getting hot. Okay, that guy was definitely hacking. So round two. Many hackers later. Where you at? <laughs> I finally won a match. I won! I did it! Because the opponent left the game. All right, well, I think I'm officially ready to fight Joe. Let's do this thing. But last minute, I decided that instead of me using the keyboard, I wanted him to try and use the keyboard. Okay, this thing is hot. Oh, it's so heavy too. Oh, hey dude, what's up? Oh, wow, you're trashed, yo. What the heck, what happened? <laughs> dude, you're terrible, bro. <laughs> oh, he's having a comeback too. Oh, that was fun. Ah, uh, you got worried oh, there. Oh, come on, no! No, I was so close! Come on, come on. No, 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 I was so close, I was so close, I was so close! So this thing is pretty sick, but it also sucks. The keyboard's easy to use, but the projector means that you need to have a wall or something everywhere you go. It's nice to have a big keyboard, but most of these keys are completely unnecessary, and it doesn't have a battery, so it's not even portable. So now that we have a good idea of what not to do, it's time to take a final stab at the Ultimate Computer Mouse version two. I wanna go back to the OG size. So obviously, this thing isn't gonna fit into a smaller mouse. This little guy runs Windows 11, and this keyboard here, I'm done with those things, so I'm gonna come up with a better solution. I have all the parts, everything's ready to be installed, but I'm missing one thing, a keyboard. Something happened to mine, so of course, I'm gonna make one. Okay, so I'm testing this out right now, but I keep running into this problem even though I've spent hours troubleshooting. So every time I press this button, it's supposed to type a W, but it just types nothing. Like, check this out, it's really weird. I put all the parts into the housing and then realized that I never added a screen mount. Oops. So I need to connect the screen to the PC using an HDMI cable. So I bought a bunch of different cables so far, and not only are they the wrong length, but they're just a little bit too much like your mom. Chunky. So I figured the best solution was to rip apart the cable, shorten it, and re-solder 40 different connections by hand so that it'll fit. Smartest YouTuber right here. Three hours of soldering later, I finished it, and it was time to test it. Sounds about right. Just kidding, it was just a little bit of a prank. It was just a YouTube video I was playing on the thing. <laughs> anyway, works great. After hours and hours of soldering, hot gluing, and using excessive force, I had to unearth my years of Tetris playing skills to somehow fit everything into the case. It's too easy. Then it was time for my least favorite part, testing it. I turned it on and no bueno. I don't wanna live anymore. After realizing that a wire in the HDMI cable must have come loose, I proceeded to die inside and then fix the HDMI cable and finish up the mouse. The Ultimate Computer Mouse version two, or the Ultimate Gaming Mouse. So on the left side, we've got seven buttons. The first four being just the main keys used for moving in video games, and the others are just random letters. On the right side, we have a space bar, shift, and control key. On the bottom, a battery indicator, and I took a little inspiration from the Apple mouse and put the charging port on the bottom. Let's power this thing on. So this thing is pretty comfortable to use actually, and it pretty much just feels like a fat mouse. So obviously having only seven keys to choose from kind of limits what you can actually search. But this isn't called the ultimate searching mouse. It's the ultimate gaming mouse. So let's try some games. I just downloaded Minecraft onto the mouse, so now we're gonna test it for the first time. Come on. Um, how am I supposed to sign in when I only have six letters? It's updating. Here we go. No way, no way. Okay, create new world. Okay, it's been like five minutes and it's still on 0%. 2% after 30 minutes, let's go. No way. Okay, I'm gonna walk. Uh, uh, ooh. Okay, so just a little bit of lag. I mean, it works though. It works though. Okay, so now that we know I'm able to play the full version of Minecraft on the go wherever I am, I'll show you how well it performs in doing something simple like watching a movie or typing up a Word document or even lawn mowing simulator. Let's go! So as it turns out, I can play any video game on this if I use cloud streaming software where I'm basically playing the game over the internet on somebody else's computer. Yeah, buddy! And while it can play these games, after a little bit of time, it starts to struggle a little bit. Oh, it's gone! <laughs> what happened? Oh, that's oh. back! 
Yeah, no one can stop me now, sucker. <laughs> so, Dude, that was so fun. <laughs> that was literally so much fun. I've never played more fun Fortnite in my life. There's nothing there! <laughs> like, I don't know where I am! So this is me, Joe, and my friend Duncan putting the three computers through the ultimate test by trying to beat Minecraft before they uh, die or even melt. I'm out of this desert. Why can I not hold down W? What if I just press really fast? So 10 minutes into it, the computers were all still working. Well, well, as well as they ever worked. My setup is immaculate. Okay, Duncan's complaining, look at this. Do you see this? Do you see what I'm going through right now? Where did Thomas go? Thomas is in the freezer. So my mouse started overheating a bit, so I just played from the freezer. But then I whipped out the pizza to use it as a colder surface, and it actually worked great. For about a 20 seconds, and then I had to go back to the freezer where it uh, kind of completely froze the game. Uh, well, we're just gonna leave that puppy in there for a little bit. Oh no! Oh no! I can't click the I can't click the red mouse anymore. Why is it like that? Oh come on! Oh! oh, oh it we did it! Woo! Man, Electo's inventions are so smart and genius and easy to use. Thanks, guys. Changing humanity.